call this experiment water to wine or this demonstration water to wine. And what I'm using is just simple acids and bases. So I have one molar NaOH, one molar sulfuric acid, barium nitrate, one molar NaOH, phenothalian indicator, and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So what I do is in the first cup, I have a few drops of my phenothalian indicator. And I might say I was thirsty and I need a glass of water. I'll then take my glass of water with the phenothalian indicator and I'll pour it into this cup to imitate wine. In this glass I have 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide NaOH. Then go from our 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide NaOH into 1 molar sulfuric acid, which gives us lemonade, or the appearance of lemonade. From this then, we take go into sodium hydrogen carbonate, and this gives us carbonates and hydrogen carbonates, and which liberate carbon dioxide gas, which gives us that nice fizz. Here, in this glass, I have barium nitrate. And when this is added, we get a nice cloudy color precipitate, which is the sulfates being produced from the, the sulfuric acid, and it gives the appearance of milk. And then finally, we take this and we put it into a stronger base, sodium hydroxide once again, but this time it's one molar concentration. And we get that lovely color from the phenothalian again, indicating the alkalized solution. And it looks like calcol or gaviscon. The color will disappear though when the acid, stronger acid is put in. So you need quite a lot of phenothalian for that one. So this can be used as a fun or interesting demonstration, which can stimulate some nice questions, inquiry-based learning, and problem-solving ideas for why the colour changes might occur. It might be a good idea to use something like this in your teaching after having introduced acid bases or indicators, or as that initial trigger when introducing acid base indicators and colour changes.